it worth it? A milk cow in the backyard. Does that make sense for a regular family in 2024? Obviously for me, the answer is yes, because I'm doing it. And if I didn't think it wasn't worth it, I wouldn't do it. But I think it is worth it for reasons that you might not have thought about. My name is Jennifer. Welcome. This is the channel where I make cheese and learn about cheese. People often think of worth in financial terms. I may get into the finances at some point and we might break that down and I actually don't know where it's going to end up, but that's another time. But before we get into the reasons, I have to tell you a little bit more about how we got into having a milk cow. Back in 2018, we got four bottle fed calves for $40 a piece. We have five acres property total and about three to four of them are fenced. And I thought it just makes sense to put beef on the property and then we get to eat them later. It just so happened that one of the calves was a female. And two years later, when it came time to butcher them, we were like, huh. Do we really want to butcher Daisy or should we breed her? My husband didn't want to have anything to do with a milk cow, but my younger son who was 14 at the time was like, let's breed her and let's have a milk cow and I'll take care of it. I'll milk her. I'll get her a team. I'll, I'll do everything. And my husband and I were like, fine, if you want to do it. This was 2020, the pandemic was happening. And I was like, if it doesn't work, we can either sell the calf, we can sell Daisy, we can let Daisy just raise the calf on her own and not milk her. We're not going anywhere, it's a pandemic, so let's see what happens. Daisy got bred with a neighbor's bull, she gave birth and the milk was wonderful. And I started making cheese. Six months in, my son got tired of milking, didn't blame him. My husband begrudgingly took over the milking. But we switched from hand milking at that point to an electric milker that we borrowed from a friend. We added a Jersey cow named Emma. I bought cheese making books and a vacuum sealer. I collected a series of secondhand wine fridges for my own little cheese caves. And then I started a YouTube channel and I began teaching how to make cheese. And then I persuaded my husband to get pigs to eat the whey from all the cheese. And well, things have been kind of snowballing ever since. So how is having a milk cow worth it? Let me tell you. We bought this house about 15 years ago, 16, 18, whoa. We bought this house about 18 years ago when our children were little. The purpose of this place has been to raise them, but now the children are leaving home. My husband and I aren't out in the field making fires, riding horses, building forts and digging holes. So now I'm asking, what's the point of having all this land? Why is it here? What are we gonna do with it? We don't need this big house. Why don't we just go live in another country? So I'm fighting this impulse to burn it all down, not literally. While I'm going through this transition, every morning my husband goes out to visit his ladies and once a week, twice a week, I make cheese. It's something that we do that keeps us connected to this place in the midst of all this transition. Reason number two, neither my husband nor I wanted to milk a cow. But we eventually came to the agreement that we did value it. It felt worthwhile, even though we hated the work. So we made a deal. Every morning, my husband milks, does the entire thing from getting all the materials together to go out to milk and then coming back to the house and filtering the milk and bottling it and cleaning up and washing everything. That whole task is his. My responsibility is to make him his packed lunch and make him his breakfast. Two tasks he hates and something I haven't done for years. And it turns out getting out of the house every morning for a simple but substantial one-off job is a really good way for my ADD husband to start the day. And having his breakfast made and his lunch packed is enormously helpful. I feel supported because he's getting the milk and he feels supported. Would it be easier to go to the grocery store and just buy a gallon of milk? Heck yeah. But that doesn't build teamwork. Three. My husband and I are not good with plants. Neither of us likes to garden. I've always sort of felt that our disinterest in plants is kind of like a moral shortcoming of sorts, but I have come to realize that you don't have to do everything. And it turns out that raising animals on our property is more our style. It suits the way we are, it's minimal tending, more one-off jobs, and supplying our own meat and our own dairy is an enormous bang for our buck. Having a freezer full of beef, freezer full of pork, lard and milks and cheeses, that's a lot of money. Plus, having animals forces us to pay attention. We can way too easily ignore the weeds that are overtaking the garden, but it's much harder to ignore a bellowing cow. Four, it's not really logical, but when I hear about all the bad things happening in the world, a shortage of gas, or there's wars, or there's political instability, or whatever it is that's going on and people are all like up in arms about, I'm like, at least I have my cheese. It's not really logical, but it's kind of like a security blanket for me and it makes me feel safe. That's worth something. This whole having a milk cow and whether or not it's valuable, that whole conversation can be applied to so many things. Projects like cutting your own firewood, 
which is burning my back right now, or cooking food from scratch, or bicycling to work, or whatever it is that you do, these little choices that you've made, how we perceive it and how we get there, and then do we continue or not continue? It's something that you always have to evaluate and look at. There's not really any noble reason that we have a milk cow. It's just something fun we're doing for right now. It fits our lifestyle, it helps us, it makes us better people. We enjoy it, broadly speaking. I don't know. I guess I, I try not to get too locked into it. This is what works right now for us. I love hearing about other people and why they do what they do. So if you want to share that, I love getting emails from y'all. I love getting your comments. I try to respond to all of them. I love this little community. We're kind of little random people doing these little random things. Tell me, like, why do you do it? It's fun. That's my big thing. It's fun. It's so fun.